A new survey has found young Australians are turning their backs on the concept of a republic. The research conducted by the Republican movement showed 55% of under 30s want to keep the Queen. Do you have to get back? Yes. <laughs> you were shaking. I, I was shaking. It. I'm, I'm, I'm just going to remember this from every day on. It was very cool and awesome. I gave him a few stuff from my mum. The Cornwall was the first to be enticed onto the dance floor by student volunteer army founder and Christchurch identity Sam Johnson. <laughs> Not to be outdone, the Prince of Wales soon took his turn on the floor. It was very exciting. I think the Royal Couple thoroughly enjoyed their time in Christchurch, and it's you know I think it, you know shown we're going to a new phase. You know we're celebrating the small things as we go through the rebuild, and you know ask, asking uh, the Her Royal Highness uh, Duchess of Cornwall to dance at the end was a bit unexpected, but I thought well you know why not? This yeah. is the bonus, and um, yeah we found out she's getting the key to Edinburgh City and. Thought and here we are. Why not? Love the royal family. I did see the Queen. What did you think? It was very brief, but it was awesome. Worth the wait. They're, they're for the, the Queen's son and the Duchess. For this 11-year-old who is presenting flowers to the Duchess of Cornwall. It's got kind of thing that I've seen on TV and thought I'd never get to do it. <laughs> Why does the Queen watch too much to me? <laughs> um, because... And a shared future. She's my Queen. She's everybody's Queen. Uh, Canadian unity. The future to me. I mean, the future? She's 84. I know, but I mean, there's continuity in all this stuff. She'll still be here probably after the next Prime Minister is elected. I can only hope. A gift. A tie and a scarf for Camilla. Was that the first time you've seen a prince? Yes, it was so exciting. The Royal Charm Offensive continues tomorrow in Adelaide. And Charles first at the National Gallery, where these loyal subjects stole a photo with the future king. I'm never going to forget this. It was just really cool seeing royalty. Hours outside the palace to see the young royals, including some Aussie tourists. Fantastic, but we would have liked them to stay out a little bit longer. We only got a little bit of a glimpse. Better than nothing, though. In fact, more and more young people are pumped up by the royals and are joining the Monarchist Society of Canada. 15% of its 15,000 members are 25 or under, and it's the fastest growing segment. The Queen's had a long run, and she started in a period where the media was a bit kinder. Um, our media is a little more crucifying of our leaders. And I think uh, he'll, he'll, he'll have a jubilation around when he is coronated, uh, and, and, that'll, and, and he'll be received well by his people. Flash thunderstorm hit Bondi Beach. Not that it kept the fans away. You're not only wet, you're shivering. <laughs> I'm shivering, <laughs> but I'm excited. I think that Julia Gillard should respect tradition. We came together as a country under the Commonwealth, and that's, I think, where we should stay. It's, it's disgraceful for her to think otherwise. I think she's beautiful, and I've got loads of pictures of her, so I really, really like her. I, I think she's lovely. Given it a uh, different look. Uh, We've grown up with, well at least our generation has grown up with the Queen as the look and everything she does is what the monarchy and all of a sudden you have a new couple, new faces, new personalities engaging in that. Um, in November, well as a student I go home at the end of the year, um, so it doesn't affect me personally because I'll probably be somewhere where they will be, but um, I think for the residents in Dunedin I'd be quite set because they come everywhere else, why don't they come to Dunedin? Dunedin's a fairly big city, yeah, it's not fair. <laughs> Well, I reckon it's a maybe because, I don't know, their time could be spent up with other people which would be benefit them, but then for benefiting ourselves, then it would be good if they came down here. Fair, but I think um, it depends on them, you know, like they've obviously got a lot to do, so maybe they just decided not to come down. It sucks for us though, you know, what are we going to do? We're not going to Christchurch. I'm with, with one of those lucky people here now, Sigrid Harper, who got to meet Prince Charles just a few moments ago. So tell me what happened. Well, it was so exciting. He walked right up to me and I gave him my flowers, the fabric flowers, so they wouldn't die. What did he, what did he say after that? Oh, thank you very much. You're lovely. Oh, very, very royal manners, of course, Sir <laughs> Hannah. And I guess, why did you want to come down here today, I'm a Sigrid? fan of the royals. I just, I love them. I think they're, they're, they support so many good causes. And I'm just a big, a big, big royal fan. That's great. <laughs> so... We express it with our signs. Yeah. Go the Queen. Stop, circular key, and the first chance for the future King to meet his Sydney subjects. I said, nice to meet you, Mr. Charles. Had to put on the charm. Could I get a photo? You can try. It may ruin your reputation. Oh. <laughs> I couldn't sleep last night. 
because I was so excited. I think the, sh the sh change in these figures, the fact that the under 30s are getting more involved with the monarchy, is probably because it's relevant to them. It's an exciting event and a once a lifetime opportunity out here, really. Um, well, I think, you know, it's important to say, first of all, that I think Prince Charles said it quite well. And he said an institution as quirky as this couldn't survive unless it kept up with the times. And we're seeing sort of the new face in William and Kate. Our generation hasn't had, you know, the William or the Charles and Diana, the 1939 tour to kind of cement things, our own kind of young expose, if you will. And I think, you know, this will cover that. Um, in regards to the survey, um, you know, I'm quite glad that people take an interest in it because it's often a sideline topic, but this was 100 students at one university unscientifically chosen. And I think the real poll we're seeing is this unprecedented level of interest in the royal family. Big day for us. First time, nervous as well. Yeah, excited. But it was at Croydon College that the real celebration was taking place. Excited students and staff lining the streets outside. I have a name for, but uh, looks like there are going to be others. Another young man with flowers and a bunch of other children who have been called forward to present their flowers. couple will work their way along a, a fenced-in area where with sort of security barriers and but in this case the kids <laughs> I believe Her Majesty seems to be enjoying this the kids were just simply called forward in a in a small gang to come forward and, and meet with her and present their flowers no security barriers there they just all been called to come up Excited. <laughs> Sleep last night. <laughs> Others were waiting for a royal reunion. It's the Queen, innit? You've got to do your best. She's amazing, isn't yeah. she? Yeah. She's like, Brilliant. She's top she's of the world. Yeah. A spirited show of Australian pride. The Queen coming to pay her respects at our nation's most sacred shrine. It is a part of Australian history and she's a part of Australia too. I think it's really important, even if you're disappointed, disillusioned with the political state of the country, you can still be proud in the royal family, and I think that's what's the most important thing. I'm writing a letter to her this afternoon about her birthday, so I'm hoping she will reply back. Rooms to bring Britons together in celebration of a head of state we share with them. I love the Sea Dolphins. <laughs> I never seen a prince before. I think we should stay with the king and queen. We should keep the queen. It's kind of like a cool thing to look up to, sort of. She's yeah, the biggest thing queen. in the world. Oh, Who wouldn't want to see her? I like shaking. I'm so excited. And Jack's an Aussie school kid. Yeah, uh, he's cool. Why? Because he's prince. Jack, make me a I need the hats. Come on, the yours. And with that, Jack became one of thousands made to feel special today by a very down-to-earth prince on his way to a barbecue. It's nice to celebrate it with lots of other people who are thinking the same sort of thing, and you feel it a bit more. Post-wedding analysis carried on to the wee hours. I will be watching it, yes. I will be glued. I can't wait. Looking forward to it. I um, might be watching, yeah. This evening? Yeah, probably watching it. I think, yeah, that'll be a good fit. They'll, they'll lead us well, hopefully. I wish them well in their future endeavours and hope everything goes well on the big day tomorrow. So last time our Kerry Takanawa sang, who yep. you should be singing for them this time? Probably Hayley Westerner. Yeah. Hayley. Yeah. Kiwi? A kiwi? Yeah. Kiwi? Like a real kiwi. kiwi. Yeah, live kiwi. Something to do with uh, merino wool or a possum fur or something like that. <laughs> a crate of spates. Um, Maybe a pavlova. So that's what's going to uh, save it, the, the cult of celebrity, it. isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Because, uh, because you know... Because the... <laughs> Yes, thank you, Maud.